How are x-rays generated? Classic x-ray sources consist of a tungsten filament and a metallic anode suspended in a vacuum tube. When electricity is run through the filament, electrons are boiled off. The electrons are accelerated toward the anode with a strong electric field. When the electrons interact with the atoms in the anode, two different things can occur. The first possibility is that the electron will be redirected by the positive charge of the nucleus, producing a broad emission spectrum known as bremsstrahlung. The second possibility is that an electron is knocked out of the atom. The hole is filled by a higher energy electron, resulting in the emission of an X-ray with a very specific energy. These are called characteristic X-rays. In addition to creating X-rays, a large amount of energy is converted into heat, requiring the anode to be cooled. In the traditional tube, the large footprint of the wide electron beam limits the heat dissipation, requiring the anode to be water-cooled. By using a small, spot-shaped electron beam, heat can be dissipated in three dimensions. These micro-focus sources allow the anode to be air-cooled and produce a very bright spot beam. If maximum signal is required, a rotating anode source is the best choice. The anode is spun at several thousand RPM in a vacuum chamber, evenly distributing the heat across the entire surface. Because of this, it can be operated at a much higher power level. Producing x-rays is just one part of a comprehensive solution. Efficient optics, precisely controlled sample handling, and sensitive detectors are all important in achieving the best result.